Today we're looking at, once again, Blender 2.5 beta. I'm actually running Blender 2.56 in this tutorial. And this is going to be a very basic tutorial over uh, something I actually just learned, even though I've been using Blender for years, and this is a simple little thing. Uh, I'm going to hit zero here on my number pad to go to my camera view, and you can see we have a cube here, and uh, I'll just do the default cube. We can hit F12 to render this out. That's what the cube looks like. Whatever, we'll hit escape to get out of that. Over here we have our render settings, where you can change your presets for the size and everything. And down here you got your output, and you have different options for formats. But you also have these three buttons down here. Obviously BW stands for black and white, which is actually grayscale in this case. And RGB, which is a colored image using red, green, and blue. But then there's this RGBA, and I, I have noticed this button, but I never really knew what it did. And actually what it does is it renders out an RGB colored image, but leaves uh, the alpha layer basically uh, transparent for anything in the background. Um, now when you're doing something like that, you have to save to a format that supports uh, alpha layers. Uh, PNG is the default here, and PNG is a great format that does support alpha. So all we have to do is now click on that RGBA, we'll hit F12 to render, it renders out the image here, then we'll press F3 to save the image, and I'll save it as blender.png. We'll click save as, and it's saved. Now we can open up something like GIMP, and I can go uh, control O to open, and I can go to my home directory and choose that blender.alpha or blender.png and you can see a preview here of the cube with a transparent background when I open it up it has an alpha layer it's got the transparent background so now you can easily take this image I'll hit control A to select all and control C to copy and I'll grab another image here's a picture of my friend Kelly and I'll hit control V to paste that layer and you can see the background is transparent so it makes it easy for me to put this cube anywhere in this image. Delete that layer and we'll do the same thing once again but we'll uh, do a different image just so you get a better understanding. Come back to Blender here, we'll hit escape to get out of that. We'll just grab the cube and move it over here and we'll add maybe a sphere, UV sphere, hit spacebar again, we'll add some text Oops. Ah. Hit C to get back. Okay. We'll hit spacebar. Type text. Add text. There's some text. And we'll hit tab to edit it. And we'll just say www.filmsbychris.com. We'll come over here to our uh, object window. And. Oh, actually, there's a font window now. And here are our font settings. And we can do different things. I'm going to extrude it a bit. We have to get out of edit mode for that to appear. We'll hit tab. We'll hit this a few times. Turn it up. Turn it up. There we go. Now the text is looking more 3D. We'll grab the text. We'll move it. We'll slit. We'll rotate it. Rotate it until we get where we want it. There we go. Just so you can read it. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just for fun. We'll even give it some color here. We'll go uh, materials, add, and do 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 do. We'll do the same thing for the sphere here. Add new. And we'll choose a color of pink for that. Make it a little bit darker, maybe. There we go. Choose the cube. We'll make the cube blue. Oh, I, did, I didn't add a texture for that, did I? 
Oh, it already had one because that's the default cube. And we'll make the words green here. Now if we hit F12, it'll render that out with all the different colors. Let's move the lighting source a little bit. I'm basically done with the tutorial. I'm just changing things around to give you a better example of it. Let's see how that looks. Looking good. Now we can hit F3 once again. I'll just save it as B2. Save as PNG. We'll go back into GIMP here. Control O to open. I'll go to my home directory. I'll grab that B2 image. And as you can see, it's got the alpha layer as well. And once again, I can control A. We didn't really give that sphere that much color. Uh, and we'll go control C. And we can paste that over this image here. And you can see all the objects. And we can move them around easily. So that's rendering out an image in Blender 3D with alpha layers. So you can have a transparent background for a project you may be working on. I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day. Check the description for helpful links and more information on this subject. Have a great day.